on my uh, memory stick that I've gone ahead and saved the two files on. This is my CNC router that I built. It works great. We use it all the time. So I'm going to take this memory stick, plug it into the computer that controls the actual router and the stepper motors and everything here. I'm going to come over here. You can come over here and watch this. And when I come over here, it automatically opens up the two files that I want. I have my Y profile. I'll hold my uh, control key down. And I've got my Y accents. I'll right mouse click. I'll copy those. And I'll come over here to my directory where I'm actually saving my projects on my computer. Now, what I'm going to do is go to my folder. I'll come down here to Letters to Mill. And I go to Mystified where my project is located. I'll paste those two in there. So before I get started here, I'm going to go ahead and close out a spot, uh, Mach 3. This is the Mach 3 controller software that runs our CNC controller. I'm not going to save my fixture, but I'm going to close that out. So we'll kill these two uh, windows here. Get rid of those. Get rid of those. Get rid of those. Now, the way I run this machine is I'll come down here to my start menu. It's kind of hard to see it, but let me take care of one step real quick. Let's step over here. It's very important you always blow off your machine after you use it each time. So I'm going to take my air nozzle. Blow it off. Get it set. Okay? Okay, now we're cleaned up. Now we should be able to do what we need to do. Okay, come back over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open up the Mach 3 software. I click on it and I've already created a mill, uh, a mill setup or a mill profile that matches my mill where I've tuned all the motors, got everything set up. I'll go ahead and open it up. Now when it opens up, you'll hear the motors kind of switch and you'll see the reset button. Now when I hit the reset button, it's all ready to go and load a file. So I'm going to go find the file that I want to use, and I'm going to load it up. So the letter I want to do first is I want to cut out my accents. So I'll go ahead and hit cut out, select the accents file, and I'll go ahead and open it up. And there it's gone ahead and loaded up my G code. What's really nice is to notice this one thing here, which says my material size, which is 24 inches by 22 by half inch. That's great. That lets us know where we're at. And as you can see here, it gets and loads all my G code in. If you look over here to the, to the right, you can actually see the Accents toolpath as we created in Aspire. Now, this machine here, we need to double check as to where it's going to be located. But before I do that, let's go ahead and load the um, actual material we're going to cut out. Let me pause now. Material. As you can tell, let me get my tape measure out. Let's measure my material. Okay, this is two feet. That's 24 inches. And, of course, this is going to be uh, 24 inches as well. So I created a 24 by 24. That's okay. It's not a problem. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead. I've made, a, I've made a, a line here where I've gone ahead and i got this guy set up to where I need to use it. So I'm going to go ahead and move some things around here and move this guy over. And I'm going to go ahead and screw it down. I've already pre-tapped my screw holes to screw it down. I use a Robinson head screw, which is a square head, because I get to reuse those over and over again. Making sure that my piece is flush to my fixture that I created. And this is my spoil board. I expect to mill into this to get a good, clean outer cut. So let's go ahead and screw this down. Make sure you want to get your part good and flat on here. I'll screw this guy down here, too. Okay. Get these down. And as you can see on my mill table, whenever I get through using my screwdriver, I lay it flat so that way the mill doesn't hit it or it's not a problem. And also it will knock it off the table. We're going to make sure our part's good and flat. We're going to make sure our hold downs are good for our spoil board, which it is. So this part is pretty well fixed on the machine. It's all squared up. I use this little steel template plate to kind of make sure that my part is square to the mill. Now, this is the most important step. We're going to set the offset. We're going to stop the video now and come back to it in a moment.